All right, guys and gals. Um, I got both 1911s apart right now. Uh, I do have to clean them. Uh, they, I took them apart exactly the same way. Um, there are some differences though with uh, parts, shapes, and sizes. The guide rods right there are obviously different. The takedown levers or slide levers are different. But um, I'm just going to ramble on and uh, go into a little bit more detail of what, uh, what I learned at the range on Monday. Uh, when my buddy and I went to the range to shoot his new firearm, he, could shoot, he shot mine for the first time. Him and my brother had already gone, so he had already shot the Kimber, but I brought it along with me anyway. Seeing that I have it, my brother doesn't. <laughs> so, um, I gotta clean them. So, I'm gonna do that as I'm talking. I'm gonna cut away, and then I'll be back. So, so my buddy and I were at the firing range, and we're shooting. I brought my shotgun along. Well, there was these people next to us. I'm not gonna get into race or anything like that but uh, you can tell they obviously watched way too many gun shows or gangster movies or anything like that because they had a they had a Mossberg I believe it was shotgun and they're asking about mine they had a pistol grip w without a stock and they're trying to shoot it from the hip and guys when I tell you wow look how dirty that is and that's for my Colt. Um, when I tell you they're hitting nothing but the floor and missing the target. And, I mean, they look like they're having fun. They were shooting buckshot, double O buck. <clears throat> Mind you, I'm shooting birdshot with my gun. Number six shot. I'm going to just let that soak. I'll do his too. Um, so the range officer comes over. And he's trying to give him tips. Saying, listen guys. I know it's a shotgun, you still have to aim, you can't just point and shoot like you see on TV because the range isn't far enough to, for the spread to do what they're expecting it to do. They watch too much TV, they think as soon as it comes out of the gun, it's going to have a three foot spread on it. Guys, they got, they're shooting the floor and you can literally see the ammo hitting the floor. It's bad. So they're sitting there telling the ranger, no, 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 we know what we're doing, we, you know, we got this, we got this. So sure enough, the ranger officer shakes his head, and now he's standing right behind them because he knows they're going to do something wrong or hurt somebody, and this is literally right next to, it's the port right next to the one my buddy and I are at. So finally, oh, my bad, they also had uh, a Beretta. Man, they had no idea what the hell they were doing. They they couldn't even hit the target with the Beretta. And the target couldn't be more than 15 feet away. They were holding the gun all ass backwards. And they didn't know how to aim. They had the three dot sights. They didn't know how to line the, the sights up. If you looked at a side profile like my buddy and I were laughing at them. They, uh, the gun wasn't even level. The gun was just... Uh, the, the muzzle of the gun was basically pointing down and every time the range officer tried to give them tips try and correct their stance and they just they didn't want to take advice from anybody and they and then the one guy showing his girlfriend it was two guys and a girl and I assume it was his girlfriend I mean I didn't see her wedding ring or anything, not that I looked but uh you know when you got somebody shooting next to you like that it's it brings to your attention the awareness of Something bad can happen. Because they obviously didn't know what they were doing. And it was just bad. And again guys I've told you before. Not that I'm a professional. I'm basically new at this too. But I take safety very serious. You know it's. Once you pull that trigger. You can't get that bullet back. And it's a shame that some people watch TV. And think it's pop pop pop. And okay we can stop the movie. And everything's fine. It's not like that. <clears throat> so. Basically, uh, their time was up. So the range officer, now I, I know the range officer, his name's John. I've been there quite a few times, and he's like, so, how'd you like those guys shooting next to you? 
I said, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm happy they're gone. He goes, yeah, so am I. Because it, it just, it was a bad scene. It, like, you knew something was going to happen. And if it didn't, it was just pure luck. Eventually something was going to happen. And it's a shame that you got to, you know, treat these guys like that where they think they know everything. So, after they left, and I think I told you in the other video, it ended up me and my buddy were the last ones there. See how dirty... I don't know if you're going to be able to see. But, um, my buddy and I, we were basically the last ones left. <laughs> last ones left standing, right? So, uh, we're talking to the range officer. He gave us a little extra time on our range, you know. So, I was, you know, trying to get some information from him. I, I asked him if I could take videos, and he said he could you know, couldn't allow. It wasn't... You're not allowed to, for whatever reason, for insurance, undercover cops, blah, blah, blah. So, I didn't want to press the issue. I don't want to piss them off. It's the closest one to me, you know. And at this rate, what I just found out, there's only five public ranges in the whole state of New Jersey. How sick is that? All the other ranges, you have to join a club. I don't want to join a club. I, I don't need that extra expense. I don't need union, or union dues. Listen to me. I don't need, like, uh, membership dues or anything like that, and I have to go once a month at least, and, no, I want to be able to go at my leisure, so, and I've had a couple guys on YouTube ask me for a range video. Guys, I'm trying, I, I promise you I'm trying, I'm doing the best I can to try and find a range. The closest thing that I could seem to come upon is, I'm going to have to drive two hours away to PA and do a bunch of videos there and load them up periodically and I mean it's fun going to the range in PA because you could shoot any gun you want any gun that they have you could shoot um, all you're paying for is the ammo so yeah I mean I might do that you know me and my buddy and you know hopefully my brother if he gets better but um I don't know guys it's just it's a little discouraging the to watch and listen to people think they know what they're talking about and it's horrible it really really truly is and it's dangerous but alright on the better and bigger things guys I just hit 81 subs I'm getting a little nervous I'm getting a little close to my 100 uh, sub mark that's what I wanted to do my contest um, I've been thinking about it for a while what I want to do well that's great but I gotta start picking up prizes for you guys I, it just blew my mind that I jumped like 20 subs in a matter of two weeks maybe and where I was getting maybe one sub a week all of a sudden now you know I'm doing better I'm making more videos spending a little bit extra time talking and feeling a little bit more comfortable talking to the camera and uh, you guys have been very supportive I do want to do a quick little shout out uh, to somebody that uh, recently made a few comments on the last video I did. He uh, was very supportive, very uh, knowledgeable on the MMP. His name is Duck and Cover 2010. And I'm going to leave a little link down there on the bottom. You know, you can check out his website I'm, or his YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure he's got more subs than I do. But uh, maybe I got somebody he doesn't have and he could get get a couple more subs, you know. I mean, he's a nice guy. He was giving me answers on questions yeah on questions I didn't have the answer so it was it was fun I liked that I liked the comments I liked the interaction with everybody you know that's what I look forward to I I want this to be a new hobby of mine you know I've told you guys before I live in Jersey so I can't go out and buy gun or handguns anyway every week like I'd love to not that I have the money for it but I, I could definitely purchase another handgun a lot sooner than I would like, than I could get a permit approved for. That's the problem, is getting the permit approved for. So, uh, hence why I ordered my AR-15, because you don't need a permit for that. Go figure. Handguns, you need permits, but as long as I got my firearms ID card, I could buy as many shotguns and rifles as I want. I could... I could buy anything I want in a long gun, but a handgun, you have to get approved, and they got to do a background check every single time. 
It's a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna clean these guns uh, a little bit more thoroughly. Clean the barrel, and I'll get back to you guys. All right. The guns are back together. It took me forever to get these clean. Um, I'm assuming that it's the ammunition that I was using. Uh, I'm, I was using uh, PMC 45 uh, Auto or ACP, and compared to the American Eagle that my buddy was shooting out of his M&P, these guns were atrociously dirty. They were really bad. Um, every time I thought I had the barrels clean, I let them sit go on to a different part, I'd come back, check the barrel, and even more gun residue was coming out. I just couldn't get it to stop. Finally, I got it down where, you know, where basically it's uh, nice and clean now. I uh, I didn't waste time on film, because this video is probably getting a little long right now. So I put them back together, and now, for the very first time, I'm going to use rusty rags. This one here is actually for the rifle and shotgun, but I won it in a contest, so I won it in a PR Chico 520s contest, so I'm going to use it for the first time. And like I told you in the last video, I'm going to use it on my Colt. Alright, so the premise here is this is sheepskin. I'm supposed to wipe, wipe the gun down. It's got oil embedded in it. Uh, when it does dry out, in the kit you get an extra little tube of oil here so I guess you could uh, re-oil that up so I'm gonna wipe it down with the here just so everybody knows there's nothing in it same thing nothing in it alright so basically I'm just gonna wipe this down and then uh, when I'm done wiping down all the parts I'm going to use this. Uh, this is to polish everything and get off all the excess oil that's... I mean, you could probably, I hope you guys can see that. It's nice and shiny right now. So, And it's uh, safe for wood grips. It's safe for, for uh, I think, any finish that you might have, you know? So... So I'm just going to get it all nice and oily, and then I'm going to dry them off polish them up make them all nicey nice but again like I was saying in the first half of the video guys uh, I, I'm trying to get some uh, range videos I'm looking on the website in the state of New Jersey trying to trying to do something guys I mean I know you guys want to see the Kimber you want to see the Colt you want to see him in action I really am trying guys uh, there's nothing else I could say I mean, I apologize. I apologize for missing some contests, like uh, Mr. 23 Cowboys. But um, just bear with me, guys. You know, I do have a two-year-old, and you know, I have a family. I go to work every day. You know, it's not like I'm sitting home and doing nothing. I'm watching a lot of videos. I'm trying to keep up with everybody else. I mean, if everybody else is keeping up with me, it's only fair, right? So. And the retouch on the whole contest, I got a couple ideas of what I'm doing, or what I want to do anyway. A lot of people are doing contests, and it's just, it's hard to be unique. So, I'm going to try and come up with something that uh, I haven't seen, not that I've been on YouTube for years. So, uh, basically guys, that's it. Wow. I'm liking this rusty rags. I might have to get another one of these just for pistols. But uh, guys, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Rusty rags. Again, I use Ballastol. I'm really starting to like this stuff. The more I use it, the the more I'm in love with it. I can polish up my grips. I know there's a couple people out there that love these grips. But, um, yeah, guys, leave your comments. Please uh, sub, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later, man. Thanks.